manood at matuto sa loob ng limang minuto. Today, we are going to discuss definition of a limit of a functions. But before anything else, do not forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell so that you will be updated for my upcoming videos. Thank you! Okay, before we are going to evaluate limits of a function using table of values and graphical, let us define first what is a limit. By definition, if f of x becomes arbitrary close to a unique number l, as x approaches c from either side, the limit of f of x as x approaches c is equal to l. And this is written in this notation. And read as the limit of f of x as x approaches c is equal to l. Okay, this is now the illustration of the the function as x approaches to c. So and it is denoted by limit of f of x as x approaches to c is equal to l. Okay, as what you can see, when x is equal to c, so the f of c is equal to, to l. Okay, but take note that the limit of f of x as x approaches to c do not really care about what is the value of the function when x is equal to c, but it cares about what is the limit of the function when x approaches to c from the right and what is the limit of a function when x approaches to c from the left okay and take note that we are only considering values of x which are infinitesimal closer to c when we say infinitesimal value these are very small numbers that are closer to c okay okay for example when c is equal to 3 then the infinitesimal values greater than c that we're going to consider are three point one, three point zero one, three point zero zero one, so on and so forth and the infinitesimal values less than 3 that we're going to consider when c is equal to 3 or 2.9.99.999 so on and so forth so these are the infinitesimal values of x as x approaches to 3 that we're going to consider when c is equal to 3 so if we're going to observe the graph when x approaches to c from the right the graph will go downward going to l okay and when the value of the x approaches to c from the left the graph will go upward going to l okay that makes the limit of a function exists when x approaches to c okay because it has been said that the limit of f of x as x approaches to c from the right is equal to l and the limit of f of x as x approaches to c from the left is equal to l since now the right hand side limit and the left hand side limit 
is equal, which is going to L, then we can say the general limit, the limit of f of x as x approaches to c, is equal to L. Okay, and take note that when the limit of f of x as x approaches to c from the right is not equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches to c from the left, that's the only time that the limit of f of x as x approaches to c does not exist. This because it means that the right hand side limit values are not equal to the left hand side limit values. Okay? So, and that ends our video. Thank you for watching.